With just five days before he is sworn in as the 98th mayor of Philadelphia, Michael Nutter announced several new high-level appointments to his administration. City solicitor, Shelley Smith. City representative, Melanie Johnson. Deputy mayor for transportation and public utilities, Rhina Cutler. Deputy mayor for public safety, Everett Gillison. Deputy mayor of health and opportunity, as well as uh, filling the position of health commissioner, Dr. Donald Schwartz, director of the Office of Multicultural Affairs, Izzy Cologne, press secretary, Doug Oliver. Nutter explained the role he envisions for these and additional deputy mayors and where he got the idea to create these positions. All of our commissioners across the operating departments report to the managing director for operational responsibility. The deputy mayor's responsibility is to make sure that the policies that we're putting forward as a government and certainly what I'm putting forward as mayor of the city, that those policies uh, and practices are being carried out and coordinated uh, through the various departments and agencies. I started having a discussion about how do we better coordinate uh, services for agencies that uh, provide uh, maybe similar services uh, to uh, the citizens of Philadelphia. Um, some of this thought also came out of the uh, best practices tour uh, that I took to a number of cities across the country, in particular Chicago and New York. And when I looked at what Mayor Daley was doing with uh, deputy chiefs of staff in a variety of uh, departments and agencies in that government, when you look at what Mayor Bloomberg has done uh, with uh, deputy mayors uh, in New York uh, in coordinating activities, uh, this is kind of a combination of some of my own experience here in the government and some of the ups and downs or frustrations, uh, and some comes from the best practices tour. I think that policy has to be driven uh, out of the mayor's office. And we want to make sure that uh, the deputy mayors have not only the uh, breadth of authority, but also a position uh, that people understand. The, me the basic message is, if you receive a call from a deputy mayor, uh, you should pretty much take it as if you're getting a call from the mayor, uh, and it'd be in your best interest uh, not only to take the call, but pay attention to what the person has to say. In choosing Melanie Johnson, his campaign's communications director, as city representative, he is taking that role in a different direction. The city of Philadelphia, again under the charter, uh, has a uh, quite unique uh, position uh, known as city representative and commerce director. Uh, I'd like to make that distinction a more permanent one uh, and actually have a separate commerce director under the Home Rule Charter and a separate uh, city representative. The importance of that position cannot be overemphasized in terms of representing uh, both the mayor and the administration, as well as a variety of other services and activities involved with the city representative. While announcing the appointment of his new press secretary, Nutter also restated his pledge to keep the lines of communication with the media open. Uh, I think that uh, communications is critically important to not only getting out the message uh, that uh, my administration and all of the uh, people who work here are trying to communicate, uh, but also having uh, good relationships. Uh, and regular uh, discussions uh, with the news media and regular opportunities to share information is critically important. With the appointment of the city solicitor and city representative to join his managing director and director of finance, Nutter has filled all of the charter-mandated cabinet positions. Other appointments are expected before the swearing-in ceremony on January 7th. For WHYY and the Next Mayor Project, I'm Dan Polig.